Tonight I'll show y'all how to make a hole in sheet metal. Uh, if you look right here, what you're looking at is the head of a screwdriver. I crawled up under this baby, took me a hammer, stuck that screwdriver up through the old bolt hole, and uh, basically drove it through the floor. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get me a little straight-headed screwdriver like this one here with a fine tip. And I'm going to come up under this at this here kind of angle. And I'm going to tap on that with a hammer until I spread this metal out in four directions. Then I'll bend it back with a pair of pliers. That will make remake my hole there for me to get my little seat belt thingies down into what you got right here. That's a uh, there's a threaded bolt up under the floor there that's mounted to the frame. It's good and firm. I forgot to make the hole like I did for these seats. I made a little hole. So I'll do it this way. And the reason I'm showing you this is it seems pretty simple, but a lot of people don't realize when you're working with sheet metal. Uh, I do the same thing when I'm making a gas can banjo. If I want a hole, I just drive a hole through it with, with a screwdriver. But uh, we have literally peeled the whole body off of a race car before with nothing more than a hammer and a screwdriver and uh, put a new body back on there. We used to we used to put a fresh body on a race car every year and we'd get out there with a hammer and screwdriver and we'd chip the old body off, we'd put a new one back on. You can cut sheet metal with something as simple as a uh, as a straight headed screwdriver. And if you wear the tip off, you just get it over here on your grinder, grind it up again and go back to work. Pretty simple stuff. So now I've got that bolt in place. And I did just what I said. I took that screwdriver and I, I hackled around the edge of it there until I got it bent out of place and hammered that down flat and put that screw right back in its original hole. I will do the same thing right here. Uh, and you know, sometimes these little things are really what makes a project like this make sense. I mean, it's real easy to rip out a big piece of sheet metal and weld in a big piece because it looks big and fun and exciting. You get a lot done and you can look at it and say, wow, I did that. But all these little things, like making sure all the bolt holes are in the right place, and getting this broke off bolt out of here, all this kind of stuff, that takes time, but it's what actually makes the work work. And uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing today, I guess. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about Mike, Mike's an exceptional welder, but one of the reasons he's an exceptional welder is because he's got patience. He'll, uh, he'll, start, he'll start working on something, and he'll spend a long time fabricating it and getting it just right and then weld it in place and it fits perfectly it welds in beautifully it looks great and you know i'm not that patient i'll try to sling something together and throw it on there and nine times out of ten i can't get it to work right and the only problem is i didn't spend enough time figuring out what i was doing in the first place so there's a lot to be said for patience with that said i'll shut up now and get back to work